the Santa Claus disappointment. We've all had that moment when we learned one way or another that Santa Claus isn't real. And it was a moment of shock and uh, surprise and kind of, it, it's disappointing. It's like, wow, you know, I, I believed in this magical thing, but actually it was just my parents pretending that there's this magical thing that happens on Christmas Eve and it's all pretend. And, uh, you know, I, th I think that there's some kind of lingering effect that comes from that. Of course, it's all happened, you know, for most of us, I imagine it's happened at a very young age and we're all many years beyond that. And we don't, you know, wake up thinking about Santa Claus and, you know, cursing the fact that it isn't real or whatever. So we've all moved on, but there's something that lingers, I think, when we have these moments of disillusionment, when an illusion is lost. Uh, we, of course, there's the Easter Bunny, there's the Tooth Fairy, these kinds of childhood fairy tales that are broken. And, you know, I always remember professional wrestling that was, you know, these, these epic wrestling matches and then on the schoolyard there was just that one moment when the kid was like hey you know that's fake you know that's not real and there's just that moment of not believing what like i was you know i was so into those those fights it's like this is like an epic battle and now it's all staged it's all just made for my entertainment and it's all just just manufactured so these things that I thought were real and they're really not. So this is all, these are all childhood things that we're all far beyond, but it seems to me like this same kind of process is something that happens throughout life. Uh, it never goes away. And at each stage of life, there are always new things that we learn. Just as a part of growing up, growing older, we learn new things we develop a new view of the world and our old view of the world is, well, we decide that it's wrong. And we used to believe something and now we get the feeling that it was never true all along. And that's a difficult feeling to get used to. That I think it leaves some kind of sense of disappointment and disillusionment a kind of a shock that sort of is there at some kind of deep level that we, we kind of want it to be true. Like we, we don't want to let go of the dream. Now, and this can happen in so many different ways, like matters of our personal life, maybe if it's the end of a relationship, could have, where a dream has died, you know, and we could look at it in our, our political views, our views of the world, that these things change, what we thought was true, we no longer believe. And just our whole view of what life is, that's just part of getting older, that we change our understanding of what life is. But there's, it, it seems like even as we, at the level of our thought, we can understand completely, this is not real. Uh, it, I no longer believe this. There's some part of ourselves that is holding on, that wants to still keep believing the dream. And as much as I think we've all let go of Santa Claus, I wonder if there still is some little place inside us, all of us who grew up with the Santa Claus story, there's some part of us that wants to believe in that magic um, and if not Santa Claus, then uh, some, there, there's always something. There's some kind of story like Santa Claus, I think, for each of us. We each have our own Santa Claus, our own Santa Claus disillusionment, the Santa Claus disappointment, that, that thing that we learned wasn't true and that, that feeling of having that dream taken away from us, that it still lingers somehow. So I wonder for you, what is your Santa Claus? What is that thing 
that was taken away that still some part of you is holding on to.